how did the fundamental principles and laws of physics before chemistry and biology that govern our universe originate during the big bang how are these laws of nature and physics so consistent and persistent are appearing like controlled variables yeah or the fundamental principles and laws of physics that govern our universe and are responsible for everything we see these laws and principles originated during the big bang and the subsequent evolution of the universe of the cosmos okay so the big bang was when the original what we believe to be singularity big bang primordial singularity experienced perhaps a spontaneous expansion or whatever caused it we don't know what caused it okay so the universe began as an extremely hot extremely dense point approximately 13.8 billion years ago and then it expanded and as as it expanded it started cooling and it underwent a series of phase transformations that set that set the stage for the formation of the first fundamental particles and the formation of the, of the of the fundamental forces we know we know of four forces the strong nuclear force the weak nuclear force the elect, electromagnetic force and the gravitational force so the first second of the life of the universe itself is a tremendously long epoch the first fractions of a second in that time the universe was in a very very highly dense energetic state okay and then you have a, a period of cosmic inflation an exponential superluminal expansion of the space so this process of inflation it helped homogenize the universe and set the initial conditions for the development of the physical laws that we know so well now in the early stage there was the entire universe was governed by a single law that's what is believed okay we don't know a single unified force a, a you know super gravity or whatever you want to call it the grand unified force so that is what the universe was governed by initially that is what we believe and as the universe expanded and cooled the symmetry broke spontaneously and we eventually got the four fundamental forces that we observe today so this spontaneous symmetry breaking is a key concept in understanding how the different for different forces and particles emerged for example you may have heard of the higgs boson the higgs mechanism which which explains how the various particles acquire mass through interactions with the higgs field so uh, that's what is believed to have happened now the laws of physics that that we know they are formulated in the form of mathematical equations and they describe the regularities and patterns of the universe they describe the behavior of the fundamental components of the universe we have the einstein field equations of general relativity we have the schrodinger equation wave mechanics quantum mechanics uh, these are all based on various symmetries and conservation principles so this mathematical consistency that we observe everywhere in the universe as far as we can see the universe the laws of the universe are the same everywhere and this mathematical consistency is what ensures that these laws apply apparently universally okay so and all of this is influenced by symmetry and uh, the invariance and the transformations of various laws and so on and we have conservation laws like the law of conservation of uh, of momentum of energy of mass which ensures that everything remains consistent in the universe and uh, then you have the standard model of physics that provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the the three of forces that we kind of understand the electromagnetic force the weak force the nuclear st strong nuclear force we don't quite we're not quite capable of uh, yet thus far of of fitting gravitation into the standard model uh, but that's where you have it okay and then general relativity takes care of gravitation and all of this has been experimentally validated uh the universe seems to be homogeneous and isotropic on the largest scales which means that the physical laws could be the same everywhere in all directions which kind of makes them appear like they are controlled variables and uh, we have evidence that comes in from the cosmic microwave background radiation uh, the, the which tells us that the early universe had a nearly uniform temperature and density with uh, perhaps some regions of over densities and all and, and all that so it's a, it's a long 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 explanation but that's kind of how it is when the, when you ask very very fundamental questions as to how did these principles and laws of physics emerge and originate we don't quite have the answers for that we need to to develop what is seemingly impossible a grand unified theory a theory of everything the equation that answers all your all your questions but we still don't have it so we are still kind of you know groping in the dark and grappling with these questions but these are the questions that that fascinate us and and drive physics theoretical physics research forward